Good morning. It is day three of us waking up in Denver, Colorado. I cannot believe how freaking pretty it is. Matt and I just went to Trader Joe's because our fridge is not stocked up at all. And you better believe we got some good stuff from Trader Joe's. We literally live just like a handful of blocks away. We were gonna walk, but it's so cold today that we decided not to walk. But I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. And I always have a system when I have groceries. I take everything out just so that I can see everything that I have. We got a lot of stuff stuff and i got so many of my favorite things that you guys need to try out when you guys go to trader joe's Okay, so I took everything out and this is our little Trader Joe's haul. Some things you guys definitely need to try from Trader Joe's. The Cachao e Pepe Ravioli. I, again, am butchering this name. I don't know how to say it, but hands down the best freaking pasta you can get at Trader Joe's. Chocolate covered pretzel slims. Oh my God. Such a nice ratio of chocolate to pretzel. This is like the best amount. I can eat this entire bag in less than a day. It's really, really bad. So I don't let myself buy this as often. Okay, so these roasted corn tortillas chips are pretty much a knockoff of Takis but I actually prefer these over Takis because they're not as spicy so if you guys can't handle Takis I highly suggest getting these ones I got some sliced sourdough bread because that's how I like my avocado toast these are chicken breast medallions with coconut red curry sauce what I actually do with this is that I actually make more chicken with it because it's not enough chicken especially for Matthew so I'll probably cook up like half this pack for Matthew and then I mix it in and then I add a little bit of sugar Okay, so I just finished organizing everything in the fridge and I just wanted to show you guys what everything looks like. It honestly still doesn't look that full, but honestly, this is so much food for us. So I have all my guacamole over here. We have like meals that we can eat really easily. This is all of our raw meats. So we got chicken, salmon, beef, and steak and turkey bacon. This little area is for all of our veggies and fruits. So we got fruit bowls, asparagus, broccoli, lemon, and limes we got some eggs here our bread and this is our cheese i try to mimic this as like the way i organize the kitchen and fridge in my house in la so our meats are always on this side our fruits are always on this side we always have our breads on top and our eggs are always over here just so that's easier for matt and i to find everything i have this little drawer this is for all of our pantry staples so we have nuts we have crispy onions we got pasta we got some tunas and some marinara of course of course, this is our snack drawer. You guys have seen this like a million times. It is still so satisfying to me. And then I put together a little fruit slash veggie bowl. So this is where our bananas and things that don't go in the fridge goes. But I think I'm gonna put my avocado in the fridge because it's really freaking ripe. Actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna make this for lunch today. This is gonna be my first time making food here and it's like not even a real meal. I think I wanna do a couple like cook with me's while I'm here in Denver. I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at cooking recently and I just wanted to show off my skills a little bit. I'm just making the Kylie Jenner avocado toast. It's super easy. Actually, I don't need this. I only need five ingredients, sourdough bread, avocado, crushed red pepper, salt, and honey. All right guys, for lunch today, I'm having avocado toast and a fruit salad. This fruit salad looks beautiful. It has like kiwis and strawberries and pineapples in it. It is currently Tuesday morning, which means last night Bachelor was on. So I'm gonna actually sit at the dining table, watch Bachelor, and uh, I'll update you guys whenever I'm done doing that because the episodes are like an hour long. So I'm on the couch. I've been on the couch for the last two hours watching Bachelor. Not gonna lie, this season is crazy. Crazy, so crazy. Matt just left, he's gonna do another workout. I wanted to do something nice for him and surprise him. So I have a bunch of hangers. Matt is still living in a suitcase. Honestly, I'm still living inside of my suitcase because all of my clothes are still in a suitcase, but 
I just wanted Matt to feel like he was more at home and I just know he's like been working a bunch and a little stressed out so he hasn't really had time to like unpack his suitcase. So we got 18 hangers and I'm gonna try and hang some of his clothes. I honestly don't think I have enough hangers for him but we're gonna try either way. So he's gone. I think he should be back in like an hour or two. So he's living out of here and I'm just gonna try to hang up all his clothes. And we have a little, um, what is this called? Guys, what is this called? I honestly need to go to Target and get more hangers because I only got 36 hangers and I still don't think that's enough hangers for both Matt and I. We'll see. Should have seen the way that you bloom. I think I saw your face in the moon. Honestly, I've not seen half these shirts that Matt packed in Denver. He must have done the same thing I did, which was do a little bit of retail therapy before he left. But this is a cool ass shirt. Very cute. Oh my god, he has so many. That is so creepy. <laughs> All right, here's another cool one. It is just like this mustard green color and the back of it says a playboy. He's definitely not a playboy. He is taken. I think I saw your face in the So I color coordinated all of his clothes from whites to colors and then to blacks. I'm pretty sure these are four black t-shirts that are exactly the same. The next thing I want to do is I'm not entirely sure what to do with all of these pants and stuff. We honestly do not have enough hangers to put away the pants and his boxers and we don't really have drawers which kind of sucks. Is this a drawer? Oh my god, this might be the tiniest drawer ever. Oh my god, that is so little. That'll fit nothing. What can I put in there? I feel like I can put some of his clothes in there. Okay, it's not a big drawer. Drawer, but we're gonna move this drawer next to the clothing rack and I'm gonna put his boxers and socks in here and hopefully they all fit in here okay he has so many boxers and socks so I'm gonna have to like refold everything so that they're like nice because I don't know how they're all gonna fit if I didn't do that organizing all of Matt's clothes and guys if you guys want to hire me I am for fucking sale I ended up folding all of his pants and hanging them on hangers all of his shoes are right here and then over here we have all of his underwear and socks nicely folded folded not folded um and then we have all of his hats here his little beanie but yeah it's looking pretty freaking good holy cow hopefully Matt appreciates that I know he's a little like homesick because he has his nice studio at home where he can actually make music and it's been a little hard to figure out a good space because this entire church the acoustics are meant to echo i feel like that was like normal for churches because they're just like such large spaces and the choirs and bands are here so the sound isn't soundproof it like bounces off all the walls so matt's been having to put his studio inside of one of the closets it's a really cramped tight space so i'm hoping he just feels a little more like home because he has a space for all of his clothes uh, the last thing is i need to figure out where to put his belt but i think i'm gonna put it right on his beanie so cute i wish i had a girlfriend like me now that i have packed mad stuff it's time for me to unpack my stuff p.s if you guys are wondering about these blue socks these are my hospital socks that i got when i fell off my ladder and had to have foot surgery so many of you guys commented saying that i overpacked my beauty stuff and not gonna lie I definitely 100% did, but I'm not mad at myself for it. Oh, this is perfect. Oh my God. There's a little bin right here that I can put stuff in. My extra Invisalign. Guys, I only have 17, 16 more weeks until I'm done with my Invisalign treatment. I hope that one day Yay, okay, this is empty. <laughs> Okay, so I organized this basket and I'm putting all of my beauty stuff in here that isn't like skincare. So this is my hair stuff and then we have all of my nail stuff as well and some panty liners and some lotion and things like that. So uh, this is gonna go right here. Um, 
I just had dinner. I'm super full. I also randomly curled my hair. I'd taken a shower this morning and it felt so nice. I normally like to curl my hair like a day or two after I wash my hair, but I just decided to curl it today and it feels so nice. Right now, I am currently in the mini house that is inside the house and I'm gonna start editing a vlog right now. Matt and I are gonna go watch a movie in the living room in like an hour or two. I'm hoping we watch Harry Potter. We've been watching the Harry Potter series. We're on, I think, Harry Potter number six and there's eight movies total and it is such a nostalgic throwback to like rewatch the entire Harry Potter series in a very short amount of time. But yeah, I'm gonna work on some thumbnails. I need to work on some Instagram photos. I have not posted on Instagram in such a long time. I need to stop doing that. But I get in these habits where I completely forget to post all the photos that I have on Instagram and it's not like I don't have photos to post. It's just I keep forgetting to do it. I hope that one day we'll be in love when you're not far away Alright guys, so it's 1am right now. Matt and I are watching Goodfellas on Netflix right now. Um, and I just wanted to end the vlog here. But today's comment of the day is from It's a Goat. And they asked, do you always say the word freaking as much in real life as you do in videos? Does Matt get annoyed by it? Um, no, because in real life, I don't say freaking. I just say the F word. And I do say the F word quite often. Because I'm slightly still family friendly on YouTube, I say freaking because... That would mean I'd say fucking like 20 times in a video. But yeah, if you guys want to be featured in the next question of the day, then make sure you guys leave some questions down below for me so that I can answer them. But yeah, that is it with today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.